but he's my friend. And he's like a brother. He sticks closer than a brother. Isn't that right? Read it one more time. Say what does it say? Yes. And you may put a difference. Leviticus 10 and 10. You may put a difference. Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. And unholy. And between unclean. Between unclean. And clean. And unclean. Uh -huh. And it says here that you might do what? Verse 11. What does it say? That you may teach. You might teach the children. Of Israel. Of Israel. All the statutes. All the statutes. Which the Lord has which spoken. Which the Lord. Unto them. God has spoken. That the Lord has spoken. Amen. Unto them by the hand of Moses. Amen. Give me the book of Le Le Leviticus chapter 11 and 44. Oh, oh. I am the Lord. And 11 and 44. We're yeah. still talking about holiness. Isn't that right? Yeah. How many of y'all know God is holy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going somewhere today. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. All right, hear what it said. For I am the Lord your God. Hear what the Bible says. He said, for I am the Lord. Your God. Your God. You shall therefore. You shall therefore. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself. And you shall be holy. And you shall be holy. For I am holy. He said, God said, for I am holy. Yes, uh, Go ahead, sir. These are you defile These yourself. These are you defile yourself. With any matter of with creeping. With any matter of creeping. The creeping on earth. Hold, 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 hold on one second. My he said, my do my not defile yourself. Uh -huh. He said, it's against the nature in my creation. So don't defile yourself even with creeping things. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, and I believe it is the first chapter of Genesis, and then he gives more clarity in the second chapter of Genesis. The Bible says God created man, and from that he took and made woman. Yes, sir. The creation of God to procreate and to create. Is that right? Amen. And he designed the institution of marriage to bring them two together. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And that is the requirement then of God. Yeah. God has established it from the beginning. Yeah. The world has many ideas. Yeah. The world has many, and they are made into laws. Yeah. And you have to be careful because if you are against the law or break the law, yeah. then you can be held for discrimination. Yeah. You're not listening to me. Yeah. So then the church has to learn yeah. how to be wise as a serpent, yeah. harmless as a dove, but still maintain the foundation that is built upon the prophets and the apostles yes. by the word of God. Amen. And holiness is still right, regardless to what the world says. Yes. Are you all following me? Yes. Regardless to what ideologies are, yes. God's word in terms of creation and marriage is still according to God's word. Yes. Am I right about that? Yes. All right, sir. Keep reading 11 and 44. Mm -hmm. 11 and 4. I'm, I'm sorry. Back to Leviticus 11 and 44. Read it one more time. Then we're going to go back to another scripture. 11 and 44. For I'm the Lord your God. He said, I'm the Lord your God. You shall therefore sanctify yourself. You sanctify yourself. And you shall be holy. You shall be holy. For I am holy. He said, for I am holy. These shall defile yourself. These shall defile yourself. And then man on creeping things. Hold on, brother. I want you to get me the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 44. Mm -hmm. I tell you, the devil is a liar. Yes, he is. Keep on reading, sir. What does it say here? I am holy. Said I'm holy. Neither shall you defile yourself. Neither shall you defile yourself. With any matter of creeping thing. With any matter of creeping thing. That creepeth upon the earth. Uh -huh. Don't defile yourself. yourself yes. Don't get get yourself entangled with it. Hallelujah. But you got to stay pure before God. Yes. I mean, if y'all know God is a righteous yes. God. Yes. But God is not a liar. God is a true God, isn't it? Yes. But Satan is a liar. Yeah. How many of y'all know Satan is a liar? Yeah. All right, in the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 44, let's give the people a chance to get it. In the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 44. In the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 44. And while he's getting the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 44, uh -huh. I want you to get me the book of Titus, chapter 1, and verse 2. In the book of Titus, chapter 1, and verse 2. Uh -huh. And then after you get the book of Titus, chapter 1, and verse 2, I'm going to take you, you hold Titus, chapter 1 and verse 2, and I'm going to pull you up with Numbers, chapter 23, I believe. But for right now, I want you to get John, chapter 8 and verse 44. I want to have you all to see a little bit of a difference here. Are you ready now? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? You all still keeping up with me? Hey Amen. This is good, isn't it? Amen. We call Bible walking today. Amen. And you back. You think that people can't walk in the Bible? I can walk a little bit. We call Bible walking. All right, sir, in the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 40. Well, now, hold on. Let's do John 8, 43. Hear what it says. 
Why do you not understand my Why speech? don't you understand, those of you that are listening to me? That's right. Why don't you understand mm -hmm. uh -huh. my speech? My speech. Even because you cannot hear my because words. Because you can't hear my words? Is that why you don't understand? Mm -hmm. What the rest of it did he say? You are of your father. You the devil. are of your father. Mm -hmm. The devil. The devil. Jesus. And the lust you of don't want to understand. You don't want to hear me. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Hear me. You don't want to hear it? Because sometimes we are of the father uh -huh. of the devil. That's right. Jesus. That's right. My, 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 my. Hear me. He has blinded your mind mm. and blocking you from hearing the truth. In other words, he's a liar. That's right. Mm. He's a liar. Breach, breach. He lied to you. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. A bunch of preachers <laughs> been lied to too. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Preachers are lied to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It might have been called, but something fell along the way. Uh -huh. And now they're preaching out of flesh, and there ain't no power and authority. Oh, Jesus. That's right. Jesus. And the, the, the word is right. God is not. It's not going to return to God void. So they're speaking scriptures. But it's not with authority and power. Amen. And because without authority and power, there is a lack of revelation. Yeah. Amen. And you can't mix personal opinion Amen. with revelation that Thank comes from you. God's word. Yeah, that's right. Revelation, it, it, it comes from that Greek word, revelatio, uh -huh. which means something has been revealed. God reveals his word to me. I don't ever want to get to the point. Where I think I know so much that's right. that's right. that I can't be used by God. Right. The right. devil right. is a liar. Amen. God, Amen. keep me humble Amen. at your feet Amen. so that I can always seek for your mercy. Wonderful. But know what I'm saying? I don't ever want to be to the point where I think I'm somebody. Your righteousness is as filthy rain. Who do you think you are? And he said, I 
tell you the truth, but you believe me not. But Titus picked it up and told you the nature of God. In the book of Titus chapter 1, hold it, sir. In the book of Titus chapter 1, God is a good God, isn't it? How many of y'all know God is a good God? I said, I like talking about this thing. In the book of Titus chapter 1 and verse 2, what does it say? In the hope of eternal life, which God, which God that cannot lie. That cannot lie. Well, wait a minute, what did John call him? What did John call him? A liar. John called him a liar. But what did Titus say about God? They cannot lie. But what did John, what did Jesus say about the devil? A liar. He's but a what liar. did Titus say about Jesus? They God? That lie. God cannot lie. Uh -huh. Keep on reading it now. Come before the world began. He said, in the hope of eternal life, mm -hmm. which what God? They cannot lie. Cannot lie. Come before the world Keep began. Promise before the world began. Now, Brother Nichols, get me Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. Mm. I took hold that brother, because the devil is a liar. Yes, he is. I said, the devil is a liar. Uh -huh. God is a good God. Yes, he is. I said, God is a good God. I said, I feel like walking today. Come on, man. Can I walk with the scripture just a bit, a little bit? Uh, sometimes people just sitting there, and the problem is people don't read the word themselves. But sometimes you got to read the word, study it. That's right. And you got to just make sure that you are approved under God. Amen. And you got to, if you're going to be a workman, you have to be a workman that need not be ashamed. All right. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the book of Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19, what does it say? God. It said, God is not a man, is not a man he should not. that he should what? Uh -huh. he should not. But what did he say about the devil? He's a liar. He said he's a what? A liar. But God cannot what? Not a man. Yeah, he can what? He, can, he should not lie. He should not lie. Mm -hmm. But Satan is a what? A liar. But God is what? God is a man, not a, not a man. But God cannot lie. He should not lie. He should not lie. Is that right? That's right. You're, you're, God should not lie. Should not lie. But Satan is a what? He's a liar. But God is what? Should not lie. Should not lie. But Satan is a what? Lie. But God you what? Should not lie. But Satan does what? Lie. But God does what? Lie. But Satan does what? Lie. But God does what? Lie. But Satan does what? Lie. But God does what? Lie. Come on, God. Satan does what? Come on, Satan does what? Satan is a liar. Every man in here says Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. Y'all don't say it like you really believe it. Satan is a what? Satan is a liar. He has said, he said, uh, and shall he not do it? He shall uh, not no, do it. Shall he not do it? Uh, or he or has spoken, and shall he be? He and he'll make it good. Make it good. Let me tell you something. God is a wonderful God. Yes, yes, he, he should not lie. He cannot lie. Yes. But Satan is a liar. Yes. He's a father of lies. Father. Yes. He's a deceiver of the brethren. Yes. Yes. But for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will reveal the nature of the enemy. So when the folks come with their lie in their pernicious way, the Spirit of God will open up understanding and say, that's a liar there. Yes, yes, yes. You got to beware because sometimes uh, these folks will come in sheep clothes. Yes, I said they'll come in yes, sheep clothes. Yes, but the Bible says inwardly. They're like a raven wolf. Something evil in them. But you can thank God. You know the Spirit of God. That's why God gives the discernment of the Spirit. Come on, somebody. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 15. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15. I got to hurry up here. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15. Ephesians 4 and verse 15. But in All speaking right. truth. Here's what it said. What uh -huh. it say, brother? But speaking the truth. Speaking in the love. truth. In, in love. love. Yes, we God. speak the truth. In love. In love. Mm -hmm. Because God loves his people. Yes, yes he does. Yes. Yes, he does. Yes. 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 That you might do what? Mm -hmm. Grow up. Uh, like grow up unto him. Into him. In all things. You know how he said that? That you might grow up, grow up in him. into him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Into him. Yes. Right. Into is the process of going in. Uh -huh. In means you're already there. Uh -huh. But you're growing.
growing into, into him. Yeah. You are in essence no. dying out daily oh, as you grow into him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. In all things. All things. Which is ahead. Which is ahead. Even Christ. Even Christ. Yes, mm -hmm. And verse 18. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Having the understanding. Having the understanding doctrine. Being alienated. Being alienated. From the life of God. From the life of through God. Through the ignorance that is in them. Through the ignorance that is in them. Because, because of the blindness. Because their hearts the, yeah. have been blind. Been blinded. That's right. You wonder why folks are not reaching the point that I God really desires for them. That's right. That's because right. their Hearts. That's right, that's right. Their hearts. Yes, Jesus. Their hearts are yes, they're, they're blinded. Mm -hmm. Their hearts are blinded because the enemy has lied to them. I know. And the enemy has lied to them to get them to think in their mind to the point where they almost believe that what they say is right. Mm -hmm. And only what they say is right. That's right. That's right. And how they do it is right. That's right. Yes. That's right. And you can tell that kind of spirit. Yes. Because when that spirit speaks, you see no glory to God in it. No, sir. Amen. But you see glory to man. To man. Amen. Right. And man glories indirectly yes. to himself. Yes. Yes. In a clinical term, it's a subliminal seduction. Um. That is induced by words and people are enticed by words and so people are responding to the word that comes out of the individual and so they react to the word that comes out of the individual and they leave the service talking about their preacher. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you want to come to church, come hear my preacher. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mine. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing about God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nothing about the truth. That's right. That's right. People glory in the individual. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Because the individual is glory in himself as well. That's right. And they preach of themselves uh -huh. subliminally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear what I'm saying? That's right, the brother. enemy uses trickery. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The scripture describes it as witchcraft. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, right. Witchcraft. Jesus. And the people are bewitched. Amen. The Amen. preachers are bewitched. Amen. First of all, Amen. you have equated witchcraft uh -huh. with women. That's right. Uh -huh. That's your first mistake. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You only think women when speaking witchcraft. <laughs> witchcraft is evil. Evil comes up the enemy. Men work witchcraft. Preachers work witchcraft. They do the other preachers. And they do the people. And the people are blinded. Hallelujah to God. To the ignorance of non-gospel preaching. Notice how I said it. Not the foolishness of preaching, but non-gospel preaching. The gospel is the good news. And the good news is his death. His burial. Every demonic force, yes. even before that, had to be abased to the authority of God. Uh -huh. But as a result, he gave that same authority to those who are called by his name. All right. And you have the same authority. That's right. Why are you sitting and sometimes subjecting yourself? 